the sea, covers over two-thirds of our planet's surface. Yet we know more about space and the universe than we do about our own oceans. Scuba diving allows us to peel back the blue veil that obstructs our eyes from all the magnificent things that lurk below. and rest beneath the sea. We invite you to join us as we travel and explore all that lies beneath. Welcome back everybody, Captain Dennis with Squalls Marine Divers. Today we're in Gloucester, Massachusetts, and uh, here we are at the Fisherman's Memorial. And we're going to be diving today with Cape Ann Divers just outside of Gloucester Harbor on a wreck called the Chester Poling. It was a big freighter that ran into some trouble and broke in a couple pieces, and we're going to dive the stern section. The thing about diving up here off of Cape Ann is it's a little colder than most places in the summer. Today we're only getting to about 45 degrees, and that's at depth. A little warmer on the top. As we get down, we can start to see the stern section come into view. I'm going to look a little bit more down here on the stern. You can see the bits. Some hatches down here. And here's the tie-in, the mooring that we go up and down to get to the shipwreck. Now we're going to slowly make our way up the port side towards where the bow should be, which it isn't. And we're going to just take a stroll down and see what we can see. You can see there's a sink in there. Lots of sea anemones growing inside. I'm going to keep moving forward. Stop to see if there's anything in this window. Portholes are all gone. Here we can see the business end of the freighter. All the piping that ran fore and aft. If I'm not mistaken, this was carrying uh, heating oil, but it was empty when it sank, which is a good thing for Gloucester. A lot of brightly colored sea life down here. Here you can see there's some netting or some kind of fishing gear that's all caught up in here, lobster traps. Here's Sang. He's looking for the resident wolf fish. And we weren't able to find him. Now we're at the rip of the hole where the 
ship broke in half. See some of the heavy duty piping in here. And she's kind of tall. So there's a little head sticking out of this pipe. I don't think he uh, wants to be on video. Swimming down into that pipe. So we're going to float on up towards the top deck and then we're going to make our way back towards the stern again. Again, these are all the pipes and such that would transfer the fuel. And here's a hatch where you could go down into the tanker. have another hatch but it looks like a vent like that's a fan or some kind of exhaust you're saying going inside there are some areas that you can penetrate we're just going to stick on the outside for today. Well, look at that. It's a little Connor with a mouth full of shrimp. Looks like somebody bit off more than they could chew. Good luck trying to get that down. inside here see what we can see and we got a lot of things growing things tangled up fish way in the back there some more line and chain These two big tall things on the left I think are exhaust stacks and we're on the starboard side here and you can see some lobster traps are down here. I'm going to look in this window on another sink. Maybe this is the woman's room. Two bathrooms. One on one side, one on the other. Well, we're pretty much going to make our way back to the mooring line. Hands are starting to get a little cold. And we're going to take one last look at the Chester polling and start to make our way up the anchor line. We hope you enjoyed diving with us today on the Chester polling, and we look forward to diving with you next time. In the meantime, you can dive with us online at squallsmarine.com. You can use our interactive dive map. You can zoom in, zoom out, click on a logo, and each logo is a video. I'd like to say thanks to Cape Ann Divers for taking us to the Chester polling today. 
We had a great bunch of guys on the boat, really cool divers, really cool captain. And I recommend them highly. So if you're in the area and you want to dive with Cape Ann Divers, you can get their contact information in the end credits. And if you'd like to see some images and some great photography of the area, go to shoreunderwater.com. Until next time, I'm Captain Dennis.